Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are not going to talk about third party, but about this Joker that was just announced today from Inart Queen Studios. And there are too many questions about this. I think at this moment, everything is pretty clear. And I'm going to explain from the start here about the pricing. Here, you see the version. This one is the basic, basic version. Is the one with the sculpted air with the accessories, as you can see here in the photo. Basically, this one will run you around $300. This is the basic one. You can notice that there are no crotch grab in the display base because the shoes are magnetic and they, they will attach to the base through magnets. It's a quite nice idea. It's always better if you don't need to use those crotch grabbers. They don't look so well. Then you got those arms these in innovative arms as they call many people are saying that this changed the game completely but if you follow my channel for a while you will see that vts toys is the is doing this and last year dj custom their dark knight joker they used exactly these kind of arms they also supply one pair of arms so you could use with your joker so this it's not innovative it's a new way to display the figures because you don't have wrist pegs and I appreciate a lot because I think they look very, very well done. Of course, the Queen Studios, the paint application will be much better than other third party. Anyway, you will have uh, extra ends, of course. You got all the, the knives and it's the same that we always get with the Dark Knight. This is nothing new. This is a figure that we already see over and over. This is a sculpted air version, which I think that looks pretty okay. I don't have any complaints about it, but it's not the one I would get, in my opinion. Then you got the second version. Here you will have two figures. This is a two-pack sculpted air as well. Both are sculpted. There is no any rooted air in this middle version. They only add the interrogation uh, diorama and they add one extra figure. With the extra figure, you will not have the purple coat, but the rest is exactly the same accessories as you will get with the basic version. The accessories don't change. They are all the same. They just add one diorama for the interrogation scene or, or the jail, something like, or as it called. And you got an extra figure. And this one will run you, I think, for around $600, if I'm not um, mistaken, but should be around that price. Uh, this is the price here in China. If you are going to buy from some other store, I know that one six kit will have for pre-order. So take uh, pay attention to that. I think they will still offer the free shipping, which is always very good. Then you will have finally the deluxe or the premium version. This is the one that will go for 900, 900 something, $900. And this one you got exactly the same accessories but both figures are with rooted air and this is really the premium version is the one that i think for overseas with shipping included will go over uh, one thousand uh, dollars so you really in my opinion honest opinion you really need to consider if you need two jokers you better go with the premium version if you are okay with only one figure maybe we go you can go with the basic one i really want to get this premium one but i don't know why i need two jokers that are dressing almost the same the only difference is that i will have a diorama for the interrogation for the jail scene and other one with a with a more basic display stand if i could choose i will only want one joker with rooted air i don't know why they didn't give us this option it's yeah, I really don't understand. There is no meaning why we must have two jokers. Why they wouldn't offer, for example, a bank robber joker and a purple coat joker. Why we need two figures that are exactly the same, uh, just without a purple coat and one more display uh, diorama base. I don't think it makes much sense to be very honest, but please let me know your opinion in the comments. But anyway, I think from the comments I have heard and what's going around in the Chinese uh, internet, Weibo and so on, that uh, this Joker will have the rolling eye systems. You really can move the eyes, 
but I can't confirm because until now Queen Studios didn't confirm about that. But overall I think even the sculpted version as you can see, I think it looks pretty well done. I don't think you will lose anything, of course, the, it's a premium if you can use the rooted air because it looks much more natural, like that wet air feeling, but with a sculpted version for $300 I think you will go perfectly fine. The coat seems very well done, the purple coat is one, th one, one of the accessories that always annoys the, the Dark Knight collectors, we are always trying to find the perfect coat. We have the Hot Toys one that was not the best, then we got the Daft Toys one, then lately there was other company, I think it's Topo or Topco, that they did one also pretty pretty good. But I think this Joker here, the Rooted Air version, this one looks really really good. And as you can see the eyes, like he's looking up, I really hope we can use the rolling eyes function because it will be, it will add much more to this figure. The DX11 add that, so I think this one, if can, if they will add that, will be really amazing. But here the sculpted version, I think it looks okay. You can see that he's sculpted. It's not as real as the as the rooted one, but I think it's pretty acceptable. But the paint application, and as you and you can see in the shirt here, there's a bit of that dirtiness in the shirt that I think looks really really well done, and the colors of the purple. Everything, in my opinion, looks very, very good. But uh, we really need to wait. As far as, as far as I know, the pre-orders will start this Monday. It will be at 10:30 a.m. China time. And for the premium version, you will only have three days for pre-order. They will not do a limited edition. They will do how many pre-orders they will get within uh, that three-day period. So if you want the premium version, you better hurry up and on Monday or Tuesday maximum place that pre-order. But as you can see here, the eyes, they look very, very real. I think the paint application, uh, it was done by Viper, the Rooted then the painting looks pretty, pretty good. I only hope the production pieces, the mass production come as good as this. As you can see here, the effect of the coat looks quite, quite amazing. And the arms, of course, they give extra ultra realism to a figure when you have a detailed ends like this with that painting that looks too real, really, really amazing work. This diorama, of course, I think it will not fit a, a detail, but I hope they can give us the size so that we can have some idea about this. The accessories, uh, before they already showed, the, showed us the video, they are very well detailed. They are uh, die cast, they are not plastic, they are with a lot of detail and it's a plus for this figure. You can see here, this detail is until the minimum detail, they nailed it pretty, pretty well. The ends, the glove, the ends, I think we will see a nice ends without any roughness on the paint or even in the plastic, so I don't think we'll have any problem, but then here, these arms, they look really superb. Uh, they are even a bit creepy to look at because you can see really the flesh looks like real flesh. They really look amazing and this gives much more realism to our figures. And here some photos again, the rooted air version. I think it really looks very, very good and this pose looks just amazing. You can see here the difference between the rooted air and the sculpted, which I think the difference is noticeable, of course, because we are talking about a, a different a different air in the sculpted air is more green, more plastic, give you more that plastic figure. It's like you are looking here at the figure and here it seems you are looking at the real person. But again, if you just need one Joker and you don't want to spend so much, you really don't need to have two Jokers in your collection. You can go with the basic one. I'm sure the quality will be just fine. Uh, because if you want to go the rooted version, you really need to go with a premium one, with two figures, uh, with a one display base and one diorama, and you also need to think if you have space to use the two, or if you will get the premium version and then sell one of the figures and stay with only one. That's why I, I, I'm repeating myself, but I don't think it's understandable why 
they don't offer us one figure just like this we are seeing in the screen. Rooted air, a normal base, and they could price it at, I don't know, $400, something like that. I think everyone will be much happier than to take two jokers at once and pay over $1,000. But I really would like to know your opinion. I'm not going to take much more time in this video. I just want to give you a brief preview and a brief info about this joker. I will pre-order mine. I will review it once it, go, it goes out. I wish you all a very nice weekend. By the way, tomorrow I will be live streaming. Tomorrow, no, for the US uh, guys, it will be tonight. I will be live streaming with the Man of Hot Collectibles at 8.30 p.m. EST. So you can tune in. We will talk for sure about this. But until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.